Welcome back to Engineers. I'm Rob, and today we're back here in our Let's Play facility on Mars. It's been a while. It's been a while since back here, and the reason for that was because I was just crushed with the whole thing about the rockets. So, as you all remember, this is the last phase we had with the rockets before. So they, um, we managed to get them running, all of them. Now I've taken them all apart. So here are the leftovers of the rocket. So all the pipes, all the silos, all the sheets and everything here. And we're going to here. It's just one empty pit. It's very sad. However, it's all going to be remodeled. Not today. I'm not ready to go back into rockets yet because <laughs> so sad. Now, what we are going to do today is we're going to just look into how to <clears throat> get this and also that one emptied and actually move into the, the main system. Because you see this one is full, there's also some in the chute downstairs, same with this one, it's also full. And the chute there, I think, is also partially full. We are going to reconfigure this complete down here because the rockets now can do both. Uh, well, we're going to make them be able to do both. I'm not going to do one for ice, one for ore, because meh. So I'm going to do something bit about one shoot and then I sort her or whatever. I'm not entirely sure yet. I haven't made it that far. Now, let's go back in and see what we are up to today. Yeah, I've only made the rocket manufacturing. Um, not sure if I, where I'm going to place it, but it's here. In here, I've changed a little bit here. I've made a unloader, which is the unloader we had upstairs, and then a sorter so we can sort out. So here, backpacks and tool belts comes out and everything goes that way just for it to be easy for me to do it and also uh, then it just goes straight into the system and then that means it's ready for whenever we have a new one here i think we're gonna need two because that i think gives out dirty rock and that has to go through the centrifuge so uh, yeah we need at least more of that there so far we have a okay amount of gas so we're not on the limit of that, we have not so much of the volatiles, but that's okay. We have about six. What is it? Yeah, we have good, we have good amount. Now let's go upstairs <clears throat> and see what today's challenge is. And it is a challenge. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, I think we have enough of that. Now out here, of course, we have these silos. And as you can see, I've already started. So I've actually moved all the everything here because that's what's going to happen today. I'm tired of going up and down, up and down to process ores and also get out from here. So we're going to look into getting all of this downstairs and this will be dismantled soon. So this boy will also be dismantled. Uh, we could probably take some of this with us now because we don't need up here anymore. As you know, my entire base eventually will be downstairs with only a little room upstairs, which the elevator will be inside. Yeah. Uh, let's see, can we have more with us? Nope. Mm. So downstairs, we have now started on the actual main base. And we have already a lot of shoots, so I actually didn't need to take them. We have some floor plates, one one floor plate, uh, and a bit of everything else. Uh, that cable, the red one here, is going to be our main power supply for the main base, for the actual base, for the hub. Now, this door is new. Behind it, let's close it because it's still, even though it's actually closed off, it's still leaking in here. So in here, we have down here we have the manufacturing area. So we have. 11, no, 10, 10 silos, I don't know, <clears throat> where all the ore will be. And uh, from here, we'll have a manufacturing section over here where we can then manufacture it. And I just, okay, there it is. Nice, it just popped out. This is where, what we're going to do. First of all, I'm going to dig down and then that pipe we have there, I think this one, one of these two pipes, uh, I'll have thing out. We'll then be loading ores back down here so we can sort everything down here. And then we can have everything in house so we don't have to go outside anymore. So, uh, yeah, I will be having a underground here for the sorters and up 
here where this cross is there'll be a chute coming out for all of them so they will be nice clean and tidy there'll also be an overload chute to go out to space and just dump everything because it will happen that's coming overload so um yeah we will just empty this and i'll get the grates and then we'll start digging some holes so let me get some so what this room will be up here we'll have a at least up here we'll have a close-up room where we can breathe inside and have heat <laughs> maybe also down here maybe not i'm not entirely sure uh we'll find out <clears throat> but at least up here where we'll have all the manufacturers and everything so we can have it easily accessed and automated of course we will have somehow our stackers and sorters underneath here so i'm gonna dig one down and we will basically have an underfloor here where we can do all the, the bits and bobs downstairs so uh, let me get to digging so as you can see now we have dug out, but you can see we have dug out further down. And the reason for this is that we want to have this layer here to travel out from the silo. So we want to be able to go from here inside without touching all the chutes because I don't want to overlap anything. I want to look nice and neat. Now we want first of all, let's just get these out of the way, a sorter. And it's a bit annoying that I made it this way, but that's how I done it. So we want the sorter to let's see now we want to let's place the stacker first we want the stacker here i think so and then on the stacker we will place a overload shoot let's see overload 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 <laughs> like so on all of them and that is the reason for this is base that's not the one i want the reason for this is that if the silo becomes full it will go up here and then out to waste or whatever so we don't jam up the entire system now how does that look that will look let's try to build that that will look very lovely very lovely so let's build some. So, ah, uh, stagger. Uh -huh. Stagger there, stagger there, stagger. And I don't have enough, obviously, because here we have all the siloses for that regular ore plus steel. Yes, that's right. We're going to automate steel production. And then from there, we're going to automate the rest somehow. Are you kidding me? Ha! Huh? Ah! Oh, damn you. Okay. Uh, do you want to face the right way? Now you are, and we have you right there. Uh, let's build these first. So straight... Straight there, straight there, and the last one of the ones I have. Where did I go? There we are. Then we can place you like this, so we know we are on the right step. I know I'm overbuilding everything like usual, but that's just how I do it. Mm. And then just shoot between everything. I don't need a valve, I don't think so. It only gives you problems. I can give a, put a valve on the first one. Thank you. 
There we are. <coughs> there we are. I need to make it a little bit more. I need to make a stack and a sort of more. But then we at least can get that done. Of course, it's annoying that it comes from there, but then I'll just have to deal with that. And there we have all of them ready because then we go in and then up so it will be very uh, close to and nice to look at. Now we will have another one which is this pipe here. We will pull that that direction because then we can technically keep the pipe up there. So we're gonna use the pipe when it's done. We can use it to, to as a unload of of waste oh that's not the right the right one <laughs> and we do an overload shoot here overflow the reason why i want to do overload on this one is because when i removed it upstairs there was actually a few things that was um, in the way. Now an overload, an overflow, I'll call it overload because that's what I prefer to call it. It's basically, if this way is full, it's blocked, it will pop out here. So like, like, a, uh, like a drain. So we will drain everything unwanted or on, so, it, so if we're mining and we get too much ore of a certain type, like coal, which is what we had too much of. We don't want it to jam the rest of the system. Hence why we're doing this. Uh, hence why we're doing this with the with the shoots. Come on. There we are. Is that really all I took down? That's nice. Then we just need a line between all of these, like we have here. That's a window, we don't want a window. Window cost more, so we don't need that on this. I do hope I have enough here, but I don't. I never have enough shoots. Never enough shoots. Ah. But at least with this, we will have a a nicer looking and easier access to everything. 
and we will also have the option of not have to melt anything ourselves. It should we should get that's what we're working against now to automate melting and automating filling of printers. So first we automate the easiest. Ah, oh, come on. First you automate this, and then we can automate the rest. Good. Now there's a bug load of cable on there, but for now we have enough. And we need to somehow get in there, pop them on. Um, let me get the grinder. And I'll pop in here. Oh, rinse of course. Ah! This was not well thought out. Can I... Can I do this like this? Yeah, you don't need to see me struggle with this, but I'm gonna pop a shoot from all these downstairs and then we're gonna have to put out and then we'll name them afterwards. So let's see how it goes. There we have them. So as you can see, <coughs> not a lot of space down here. But now all, all of them has a pipe going up. Out here we'll have this one and this one joined together and it'll spit out all the waste and overshoot we don't want. Because I have a feeling that if if I have all these side of full, it should be have enough. <sighs> and also, as you can see, they all go up like this. So they don't go inside the wall, but they go flush with the wall. We can now take these, put them there. Oh. I don't really know why I'm doing this, but as I can say, now that is done. I just need to build the side losses and then they are fully done. And I cannot remember how I do that. What is I need? Welder, 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 welder. I need steel sheets. I have steel sheets somewhere. Don't I? Yeah, there we are. I have 24 steel sheets. It's probably not going to be enough. <clears throat> and buckload of plastic. Oh well, off to the rocket section. That is so close to the game Devin that jump. But it's not. Boop. So nice that power is working. At least that's something I can keep from the rockets. And some plastic. Ooh, I may have to take... Oh, we can top two off. And one more down. There we are. I will just drop you around. Boop. I like to have an elevator, but I don't use it. Oh, get up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, battery is running low. Cable. Mm -hmm. 5%, okay. That's still good enough. At least for the time being. And some plastic. Boop. <laughs> and some more steel. And then we're probably running out of power. No. I don't get. Come 
Uh, sh what do I have down here? Batteries. I have... Ah. And some steel sheets. Oh, oh, come here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Finally, we have the silos built down here. And then we just need to pop down a chute in a temporary, temporary fashion to get all the awesome upstairs down. Then we can remove the upstairs completely. That is very good. Cable to screw that Move that away. That one and that one. Oof. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Now, shoot down. Oh, oh no. Speak about shoots. I need to go up there. I think, I think I made a f mistake up here. Yep. Stop, 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 stop. Well, at least I have enough shoot for a little bit. Uh. Pipes can go out. And then some more shoots in here. Yeah. So now we're going to shoot up. Oh, let's just empty that one. I just turned down the temperature a little bit. Ah, oh, who cares? So this shoot we're putting on now is a temporary one, so it doesn't really matter. Da, 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 da. Temperature critical. Oh. Pressure critical. <laughs> critical. Wrong one, wrong one. <laughs> now, let's get up here. Uh, calm down, calm down. Bit more, a bit more. Mm Is it? I think. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, I have one. That's not the one I want. I want that one. If I'm not mistaken, I have one down here that is red. Could be wrong. I think it's this. It must be this one I want to go down on. Technically, it doesn't matter, but it's just. Yeah, let me just check. So let's take the. Let's take this out. Well, that's just typical.
Ja. Ah, so mal Mod müssen wir gehen mal. Das ist funny. Das ist wirklich funny. Oh, why not? Unless I clicked wrong. I could have clicked wrong. Let's take that one. And let's turn here. And turn here. There we are. Of course we need to have power down here first of all before we can do anything. Again. We do a temporary power supply here. Uh, that one needs to go in there. So, how do we do this the best way? And we can remove that one. And we then drill in there. Move. There we are. <coughs> now, yes, I am going to the entire main habitat is going to be a heavy type cable. The reason for this is that I'm going to use so much power in there that I want to have a heavy type cable. And they don't really cost that much more. Oh, yeah. And we can close that in terms of in case it comes a storm. Because I know this room is protected from the storm. This room, however, is not so much. So let's just keep it separated for now. And you are there. Lovely. And off with some cables.
and done 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 all of them are now in place we just need to label everything except ah we probably don't need to label this how much power do you actually use when you're on why do i not have power on anything jesus christ and switch already um you use power one Really? Required power 50. Huh. Okay, so I actually could turn that off. Uh, maybe. I could actually turn it off if there was nothing coming. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, let's start setting this up. So Oh my god. What? I have power nothing. So we want 50 on this one. And we said this one is st stagger. Steel stagger. And we want 50 here. And this is sort of steel sort of. Steel. Then we take here, stacker, we take what? Uh, lead, stacker. Lead. So that's lead, and that is called lead stacker, and that is up to 50. We need to turn you on, we need to turn you on. Hmm. Did you know power? No, no you're not, no. That makes sense. <coughs> and let... Ah, let me just get rid of this one. Turn that on. Set that to 50. And we take here, we take what? Nickel. Nickel stacker. No. Nickel sorter. There we are. Turn him on, and you are on. 50. And nickel, then we have silicone. And copper. There we are. Now, next thing we need to have the cable for this here. John W. What is my cable cutter? Ah, here. Okay, they are on. Then we want a computer here. Because this computer is only for the stackers. Sorters, I mean. We want this. Where is the chip? Here. Uh, you can be right there. Cables. And cable cutter. There we are, and go over that again. Screwdriver. Lovely. And turn them on. Eh. Weird. Right. Right, so I'll just be setting these off camera because it takes a while. And then when I've done that, we will... Um, we will move everything down. Of course, if you don't know how to set them, you use it, the motherboard called Sorter in a computer. You need to have it on, otherwise it's actually just a 50-50 splitter. And then... Can you name them from here? Ah, that's nice. That's, that's a new thing. Anyway, you need to search. So yeah, you click on the, the plus 
you add whatever so this one is steel so if i could search here i would love to write steel but i can't but you can pull down over here and then hopefully you find and you want don't want ink ink it if you want steel ink it that's least what i want but the rest we want is ore so steel or ingot there we are and that's the first one then we want copper and again down to the bottom that's pure let's see why is it copper 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 yeah so this is how you do it that's what we want i'm just gonna do all of them and the last one so it's a, that system is very annoying to do, but at least done now. So we can actually get all this moving. Uh, there should be no excuse for us to keep this on here for now. We can actually close this off now. And I think I think I have one of them with some some something inside. Let's just turn them on. See that empty. I think one of them has something. I will or will have something at least. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Weird, I'm, I'm pretty sure one of them have something. Uh, anyway. Let's grab this and go upstairs. And then we can do the integration into our base for all the stuff. So I'm just gonna open up one of each, just to be sure. So we're gonna do a turn here. Oh, I don't have enough. It's gonna be so nice to get all this away from here. So we can use it in a more convenient way and protected way. Oh, idiot. question is do I trust myself enough to this or do I think I made a mistake nah I never make mistakes and off it goes let's go down see Oh, it's a worst thing that can happen. I get all, all unwanted places. Well, that's working. Oh, that is a... Yeah. 
Yeah. Where's the first big one? Come on. Okay. This is how it goes when you don't control your self. Okay. 31 and what do we have in here 50 So, if anything pops out, out here in the end, then we know we're fucked up. So let's not hope that happens. Ah, lovely. That's the easy part. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to install the next thing down here, which is the main device up there. And then at some point we can start tearing those things down. Hmm. It's gonna take a while. But it's how it is. Right, so this Concussion we now also want to take down. Um, yeah. We want to take it down and mount it downstairs. Because I am... In the next episode, we will be setting up... Or at least start setting up the automatic of this. So um, that's going to be fun. Let's just dump these all back in here. Uh, bu 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 bu. Oh yeah. That's gonna be a while, while before that's done. Oh, let's get some batteries in these things, shall we? Let's take the last one, that one. It's a small one. And that is... Small one as well. Oh yeah. Let's take that down. Pop that in there. How much? It's not a lot. But we want to put him downstairs. So we can start using him. More convenient way. Hand drill. Uh, Angry grinder. Wire cutters. It's been so long since I dismantled one. Hand drill. Oh yeah. And then take this pipe down. Do 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 do. Ah, 
I don't know if we're gonna do a heat exchange thing for this or we are what we're gonna do exactly in terms of for the internal system. We might do. We might do for the output. Or we do uh, we'll find out. Lovely. Now, we want to take uh, the the fan killers, the pump to be a fan killers, we want to take the furnace and some, some, some iron walls, some steel. Can't remember what we need, so we take all of this. The pumps. You are empty, you are empty, you are empty. Nice. It's not going too bad, it's not going too bad. They'll be empty soon enough. So now that we're back here, um, we can see they are still unloading. Oh, there's a bit of glitch there. They're still unloading and yeah, we are getting a good amount in. Of course, we're getting old mountain. We head up this, and it will stop at some point. Now, over here, I'm probably I'll put this one away. Over here, I'm planning on putting this bad boy. It goes in like this. Uh, or we put it. Let's see here. What do we do? Goes out like that. Hmm. Doesn't matter. We pop him here. Oh, here. Ah, no. <laughs> Let's just build a platform so we can put him on. Do I have some steel on me? I do. Why do we not have stacked it on top of each other? <coughs> Grinder. Welder. Let's see, we take him here, here, lovely, and he goes here, I think so, that could probably work, ah, who cares, uh, what do we need, what do we need to fill in you, oh, get it in my hand, Electrical parts. And still sheets. And screwdriver. That was not screwdriver. <laughs> there we are. Insert outgoing. Well, yeah, why not? And pipe feet in here. No, I think I'm gonna move him. I'm not going to enjoy having him here. I think I want to have him here. So, magic coming up. And by the power of editing, I have moved him. <laughs> oh, yeah, not so much power. <clears throat> right, so what is going to happen now is we're going to have some sort of point where this one goes out here um, to this point. And that will happen underneath here. Uh, for now, I think we're gonna prep, prep for the feeding. So I'm gonna make, in the next video, we're gonna start working on a code that's gonna feed what we need depending on what we say. So if we need steel, we're gonna bring our steel. And if we need any of the other ones that I can't remember the names of right now, they will come out in a certain way. Now, 
Mm, where do we want to... We, we want to feed him over here. So if we go... All of them goes down. One down. And then that way. That could probably work. Here it comes in the way. Well, that's great. Uh, how to do this the best way? Well, move this way. Move that over there. Crowbar. And we have a power. Yeah, I probably need to push them out. One. Or no, I'm just gonna push them out there, one. Yeah. Uh, man, this is noisy. So we're gonna remove. We're gonna move him. And we're gonna take the rest of this. And one. And one down like this. How's that gonna look? Mm, that could probably work, but it looks meh. Would not be nicer to have them straight down. I could move the cable out one. Yeah, let's do that. And there we are. See, that looks very nice indeed. Very nice. Of course, we'll have to name the silos because right now it's just a silo. By the way, I saw something that over here. Clearly, I made a mistake. One of these silos, probably this one, is empty. Now, why is that? That this is lit here. Mm hmm. Why do we not have any lit sorter, lit stacker? Does it you set the fifty? Hmm. -hmm. Let's just go up. Right now there's no power on there. I wonder why. Did I miss up something over here in my... Yes, I did not sit in a correct one here. So, let's do that first. Let's take that one away. I think I missed up here. Yeah, there we are. Now let. Where are you? Let's order. Let's order. Let's order. Let's order. Iron, copper, silver. Oh, there we are. Not good. Not good. You should be let. You're in here somewhere. Are you further down? Yes, there we are. Let, 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 let. That one. That's better. That's much better. <clears throat> oh dear God. And some basic shoots. Uh huh. Should not be here as well. <sighs> oh dear. Why do we do this? Du, 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 du. Oh, clearly I have a lot of less here because I have more than a whole hard mind back. 
Um, let me show you how I can actually empty them easily. Um, yeah. So the concussion are made over here. Told you. You take your hard mind pack, just throw them in there, and then all the ore goes up there. This is of course a recycler, so this way is actually a bad idea. Uh, why are you not running? Hmm. But yeah, this one will then unsort everything. Is it mine bag? Right now, the whole th thing is clocked up because he's not running. And he's not running because I'm changing over. So I don't want him to run right now. Right. I'm not. Man, you're not Anyway, we will uh, come back to that later. <laughs> what I'm doing now is probably is that I'm getting stuck. What I'm doing now is that it's, I should probably look into removing that and get it correctly hooked up to this system, at least for the ores. So we know that we can move majority of all this. I'm probably going to build something over here because I'm thinking having a vending machine here so I can vent through if there's anything I want and then uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, I'll rip this down and then we will build out the spillage with the feeding way for the for the um, for the system. <clears throat> so armed with a lot of extra suits and I've dug out <clears throat> until here I wasn't really sure where it was but here we have the mining head so that's definitely not where we're going to go but here we have the chute uh, from our combustion recycler so we can go down here and this is pretty much going to be the main feed of all the ores um, in our system so we're just going to pop him what height is that? Let's just go over here and get him. We might... <laughs> yeah. Like so. It's going to be very tight down here. But here we're going to have a staircase down. In case we need to come down to this place again, ever. And then just shoot away. Yeah, and turn. 
shoot away. And now we can actually reactivate our combustion system and, and mine some stuff. Uh, I'm Hydration critical. Mm, thank you for that loud noise. I'm definitely going to to restart everything now and see how it functions. So let's just pop down there, call him while we do it, and then we have to seal off everything so it's they separate. Uh, turn on. And he is slowly away. That is good to see. Now, we can actually just leave him in peace and run as he should. Uh, these are currently off. I will having a, be having a silo somewhere here because I think they produce the same air as the same uh, all as the robots, as the not robots, as the rockets are doing. Let's pop him in there. Yeah, everything should be running correctly, and he can now unload straight into the system. Good. Next thing on the agenda we would be to remove going up, and I'll do that off camera, so I can remove everything upstairs outside. <clears throat> Last thing today, I think, would be to. Oh, shoot. Ah. Uh, okay. Now we might leave it here. We might leave it there and continue next time. Uh, yeah. I will clean up down here. I'll add some bit more light in here. I'll build a lot more shoots. So, the next thing we're going to do is going to make a simplified or calling system so when we call for a specific type of ore they pop out by themselves that's the first phase and then from there we're gonna have this one automatically called for a specific type of ore so we can automatically build it there's a lot of automation going on here and then this one will be automatically melting depending on what our printer say needs so uh, yeah a lot of automation going on I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it but we'll see so uh, until next time, see you everybody and have a good one. Take care. Bye for now.